as part of efforts to revitalize its textile subsector of the economy. The Nigerian government has set up a textile revival and implementation committee to look into causes for the collapse of the one-time vibrant sector with a view to finding lasting solution. Addressing the committee, the governor, Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin MFLA, who expressed worries over the flooding of the Nigerian market with imported textile said, before the year runs out, 20 industries should be up and running, while by the end of 2020, 50 textile firms in Nigeria should be working in full capacity. He pointed out that the Nigerian government had in the past five years played a key role in repositioning the economy, despite the past 20 years being difficult for the cotton and textile subsector. And I keep saying that Nigeria remains a big market and that is the reason people have, have always tried as much as possible to see how they can kill our industry. And they did. And I would like to appeal to all of us that we need to reclaim our country back. The Kanu State Governor, Abdullahi Ubar Ganduje, while congratulating the Apex Bank Governor for his reappointment for another five-year term in office, emphasized need to adopt strategic steps in actualizing the revitalization of the Nigerian textile industry. But the strategy you have adopted now, taking it from the bottom, moving gradually to the top, that is the only way we can revive the textile industry. Uh, if, the, if the steps that you have laid out as part of the plan towards reviving this very important uh, sector of our economy, if the steps are taken and implemented religiously, uh, we will all be the better for it. Uh, so I know that uh, it won't be easy. Uh, those countries who have their sights set on the 200 million target in Nigeria will not see that much as this uh, revolution uh, takes place. So uh, I think uh, we have our work cut out for us. Uh, our customs uh, yeah, it's very, very important uh, for them to step in at the right time. If we ban uh, textiles now, we're just wasting our time because uh, the local capacity is not there. To express his sincere commitment to anti-smuggling operations to suppress textile and textile articles smuggling into Nigeria to the barest minimum as was done for cutting and for rice and tomato. Meanwhile, the CBN says smuggling of textile material into Nigeria market has made the country to lose over two billion United States dollars annually. The bank also added that by 2023 the importation of textile materials into the country will be banned. Fred Idehai, CNN News.